Hello everyone, welcome to the 10th week of the course process equipment design and here we are in the first lecture of this week and here we are going to discuss design of pack column. So, if you remember the last lecture of last week that is the 9th week there we have designed the pack column and we have calculated height as well as diameter of the pack column. Right. And in this particular lecture, we will discuss the column internals, how to decide the proper type of internals. So, let us focus on that. First of all, we will discuss what is column internal. Okay. So, as far as internal fittings in the pack column are considered, these are simpler than those in the pack. These are simpler in comparison to that we consider in plate column and it must be carefully designed to ensure good performance. Okay. So, what these internals are? These internals are basically liquid and gas distributor, packing support and we can have whole plates also. So, all these we consider apart from packing. Okay. So, all these we consider apart from packing in the column and that we consider as the column internals. So, design of these internals as well as selection of these internals should be done very carefully and for that we have some standards also. So, as a general rule standard fittings developed by packing manufacturers should be specified. So, in this case we should consider the standard that in which particular case which type of internal should be used. So, let us discuss first the packing support. So, as far as packing support is concerned, what is the meaning of that? That we also have that we also have discussed in previous lecture about the pack column that it is basically used to hold the packing. Okay. So, depending upon the packing size, we should choose the packing support very carefully so that packing should stay over here it should not pass through the holes available in the packing support. And finally, it should be based on the pressure drop because in the packing we can have the holes and through these holes liquids and vapor both will pass. Okay. And they should not put any hurdle in the passing of liquid as well as gas. Okay. So, packing support should be properly selected and for that we can have some points as the function of the support plate is to carry the weight of the wet packing while allowing free passage of gas as well as liquid. Okay. So, as far as this packing support is concerned, it should hold the liquid along with the weight of the packing. Okay. So, we can consider that as wet packing. Fine. So, we can consider that as wet packing. Fine. So, these requirements conflict and poorly designed support will give a high pressure drop and can cause local floodings also. Because if it will not allow liquid to pass through it continuously accumulation of liquid occurs in the bed and which will cause the flooding. Right? So, usually we consider simple grid and perforated plate which is used as a support and but in these designs, the liquid and gas have to pass through from the same opening. So, wide spaced grids are used to increase the flow area with layers of larger size packing stacked on the grid to support the small size random packing. So, what is the meaning of this? All these points will be clear when we discuss the schematic in the next slide. But you should understand that uh, at the bottom we should have the packing support of larger size because it should let the liquid and gas to pass through it. right? And uh, because of this larger opening in the support, packing should not pass through it. So, we basically consider larger size packing over this and over that we consider small size packing and that is preferably used in random packings. Okay? So, best design of support plate is one in which gas inlets are provided above the gas level where liquid flows from the bed such as gas injection type. So, what is this gas injection type? That 
So what is this gas injection type that also we will discuss. So here you see I am having this uh, stacked packing used to support random packing. So if you see this is basically the packing support right and here we have different holes and over that we basically considered large size packing okay and further we consider a small size packing over this. So in this way you can have the so in this way you can have the packing support. So this is basically the support right and uh, we can have the gas injection packing support like if you consider this is basically the this is basically the gas injection support plate where we can have this type of assembly and in between we can have the hole for gas to move right and uh, in between this we can have the movement of liquid also. So liquid can pass through this but it will not interfere the flow of gas. So gas is distributed directly into the packed bed no hydrostatic head gas and liquid flow through separate openings in the plate as I have already discussed these are basically for liquid and here we have this gas movement liquid no, liquid can also fall from this okay but it will not hinder the movement of gas through the packing okay but it will not hinder the movement of gas through this packing support right. So in this way gas injection packing support works and uh, now we will discuss the liquid distributors. So what is the purpose of liquid distributor is it properly distributes the liquid throughout the cross sectional area of the column ok. So what the design available for that let us discuss that. So the satisfactory performance of the packed column is dependent on the maintaining a uniform flow of the liquid throughout the column and good initial liquid distribution is essential. The small diameter column in this we can consider a center open feed pipe or one with or one fitted with the spray nozzle and 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 through these nozzles liquid can be properly distributed in the packing when the column diameter is small. So one opening is essential. So one opening is enough for that ok. But for larger diameter column more elaborate designs are needed to ensure good distribution of liquid when I am having all liquid flow rates. So that should be considered for wide range of liquid flow rates. So in this case we have two type of design first is the orifice type in this liquid flows through the holes in the plate and gas through the short stand pipes that we will see in the schematic also in next slide. So gas pipe should be sized to give sufficient area for gas flow without creating a significant pressure drops ok. Because in this case both liquid and gas should pass through different holes ok. Further if I consider the wear type further if I consider the wear type liquid distributor in this liquid flows over notched wears in the gas stand pipe and this type can be designed to cope with the wider range of liquid flow rates then we then can be considered in orifice type ok. So let us see here this is basically orifice type distributor where liquid will pass through from these small holes. However these pipes are basically used for gas to move ok. So these pipes are having some height however these holes are simply available however these holes are simply available on the plate ok. And in this way we can and this is basically the wear type distributor where whatever pipes are available for gas it has a notch ok. So if we consider the proper images or photographic view of this it will be more clear like you see here we have the orifice type distributor where these holes are available in the plate through which liquid can pass 
and through these pipes of a definite height gas will pass. So, movement of gas as well as liquid is different over here. And similarly, in the wear type distributor liquid can pass through these notches also okay? because when the liquid will be available over here it can pass through these notches. However, we, however, gas will also pass through this. So, in this way we consider the wear type distributor about these you can study more in these references. And now we have some more types of liquid distributor such as for larger diameter column the trough type distributor can be used and will give good liquid distribution with a large free area for gas flows. Okay. So, if you consider here we have the gas flow opening however, liquid distributor however, liquid distribution can be done with these pipes also. Okay. So, that is basically trough type of distributor. So, here we have wear trough distributor where you can see this is the distribute where you can see this is the distributor plate and here we have wear type of structure. Okay. So, in this we can have the holes along the length okay. and in the similar line I am having pipe distributor and in this pipe we have different holes as you can see over here and through these holes liquid is properly distributed across the cross sectional area of the column. Okay. So, pipe manifold distributor can be used when the liquid is fed to the column under pressure and flow rate is reasonably constant. Okay. The distribution pipe and orifices should be sized to give an even flow from each element. Okay. So, in this way we can consider distribution of liquid properly in larger diameter column fine. And now we consider liquid redistributors. Okay. What is this liquid redistributor? If I consider the top of the column there we have the liquid distributor okay. and then it covers the whole packing fine and if the diameter and if the height of the column is very large we can understand that packings are provided in some sections. Okay. So, in one section liquid is distributed from the top and it properly covers the whole diameter. After that when the packing is completed after that and uh, before starting the second set of the packing there we again have to redistribute the liquid throughout the column diameter. Okay. So, from one stack it will exit liquid will exit as it is and then it will be redistributed before entering into the second stack of the packing. Okay. So, in this way redistributors are used and these are basically considered to collect the liquid that has migrated to the column walls and redistribute it evenly over the packing. So, it is basically collects the liquid and redistribute it again. A full, a full redistributors combines the functions of a packing support and column and liquid distributor. Okay. So, you can consider here we have the full redistributor okay. and uh, here we have the nozzle for the proper distribution and we can consider the gas movement as well as liquid movements from these sections. So, in this way this redistributor works as a support plate also as well as liquid distributor also. right? And now we have another type of liquid redistributor. Here we have wall wiper type redistributor. As the name says it is wall wiper it means it is attached to the wall of the column and wipe the liquid inside the column. Right. So, in which ring collects the liquid from the column wall and redirects it into the center packing. Okay. If you consider this schematic at the periphery we have this type of arrangement which we consider as the rings which we which we consider as the ring which collects the liquid and directs it towards the center. Right. So, such type of 
redistributor is used in a small diameter column when the diameter is less than 0.6 meter ok. So, in this way we can consider liquid distributor and redistributors and now we have few more points about the liquid redistributor. In this the maximum bed height that should be used without liquid that should be used without liquid redistributor depends on the type of packing and the process ok. So, depending upon the depending upon the packing type and the size of the packing and process the height of the liquid distributor whether liquid redistributor is required or not that we can decide. When we consider the distillation column it is less susceptible to mal distribution than absorption and stripping ok. What is mal distribution when distribution is not proper ok. So, that we face more in absorption and stripping column with respect to distillation column ok. So, as a general guide the maximum bed height should not increase 3 column diameter for reshig rings and 8 to 10 for pawl rings and saddles ok. So, here you can consider the guideline that L by D it means L for the packing by dia. So, this ratio should be less than or equal to 3 ok when it is reshig rings or we can consider it is between or we can consider it is between 8 to 10 for pawl rings and saddles right. However, in the large diameter column the bed height will also be limited by the maximum weight of the packing that can be supported by the packing support and column walls and will be around 8 meter ok. So, here I am having some guidelines which tells that where we should put liquid redistributors right. So, next we should consider the hold down plates. Now, what is this hold down plate? So, if we consider the packing then what will happen because gas is continuously coming from the bottom right. So, what will happen it sometimes carries the packing with it if packing weight is less ok. If we compare the metal as well as ceramic the ceramic packing is having lesser weight and it basically carries with the gas which is not desirable for the proper operation of the pack column. In that case we basically try to hold the packing from the top ok because gas is continuously moving from the bottom right. And the assembly through which it is done this is basically called as hold down plate ok. So, let us see a few points about that at high gas velocity at high gas rates the top layer of packing can be fluidized that we just have discussed. Under these, under these conditions ceramic packing can be break up and pieces filter. Under these conditions ceramic packing can be break up and pieces of that filter down the column and plug the packing ok. Metal and plastic packing can be blown out of the column also. So, in this way so, in this way high gas velocity should not be used, but that we cannot do. However, we can hold the packing within the column by some means ok. In that case hold down plates are used with ceramic packing to weigh down the top layer of the to weigh down the top layer and prevent fluidization of these packings. Further we can have bed limiters and these are sometimes used with plastics and metal packings to prevent expansion of the bed when operating at high pressure drop ok. So, they are similar to the hold down. So, they are similar to hold down plates, but are of lighter construction and are fixed to column walls ok. So, instead of hold down plates we can also use bed limiters ok. And, uh, the openings in the hold down plates and bed limiters should be small enough to retain the packing, but should not restrict gas and liquid flow ok. So, in this way we basically hold the packing within the column and so it is done through hold down plates or bed limiters ok. If you focus on the column internals it is showing properly in this image and if you see here I am having the 
top of the column and uh, bottom of the column is shown over here. So, here we have vapor distributor and at top we have liquid distributor and then we put a bed limiter okay, which does not allow the bed to expand further which does not allow the bed to expand and after that we can put the random packing okay. and below the random packing support plate should be used and if you see here I am having the liquid distributor up to here the liquid will be distributed and after that packing is not available. So, liquid redistributor is used again to let the liquid enter into the second section of the packing. Okay. And in this case, we consider structured packing and at the top of this we have considered hold down grid okay, which does not allow this bed to expand and uh, blow out of this packing with the gas. Okay. At the bottom we consider the support grid and similarly we can have the and similarly we can have other assembly like here like here you can see here basically the tray column and at the above we have pack column. Okay. So, in this way two columns can be combined together. Okay. So, in this way you can consider different column internals and further we will discuss liquid hold up. Okay. So, what it is an estimate of the amount of liquid held up in the packing under operating conditions is needed to calculate total load carried by the packing support. Okay. So, as we have discussed previously that packing support not only support the packing not only bear the weight of the packing, but also, but also bear the weight of the liquid also. So, the liquid hold up will depend on the liquid flow rate and to some extent on the gas flow rate. Okay. The packing manufacturers design literature should be consulted to obtain accurate estimate as a rough guide a value of about 25 percent of the packing weight can be taken for the ceramic packing. So, basically what is 25 percent? So, this 25 percent is basically the liquid hold up for ceramic packings. Okay. And now we have another parameter that we call as weighted rates. So, what is that weighted rates? This is basically the volumetric liquid that is basically the volumetric liquid rate per unit cross sectional area divided by the packing surface area per unit volume. Okay. So, if we consider this it should come out as the unit length per second. Okay. So, if we consider low liquid rate and that is basically very low liquid rate packing wetting rate should be checked to make sure that it is above the minimum recommended by the packing manufacturer. Okay. So, wetting rate means how the packing is wetted by the liquid. So, that should be properly done and it is more desirable to check when I am considering very low flow rate of liquid. Okay. So, wetting rates are frequently expressed in terms of mass or volume flow rate per unit column cross sectional area as we have just discussed. If, design, if the design liquor rate is too low, the diameter of the column should be reduced. For some processes, liquid can be recycled to increase the flow over the packing. Okay. So, this can also be done. A substantial factor of safety should be applied to the calculated bed height for process where wetted rate is likely to be low. Okay. So, all these points we should consider and accordingly we should design the column internals. Okay. And here you have some of the references where you can find the details about this lecture and here we have the summary of this video and it goes as column internals and packing support are discussed here, liquid distributors and redistributors are discussed, structure of structure of hold down plates are described and finally, we have considered liquid hold up and wetting and finally, we have considered liquid hold up and wetting rates. 
So, in this way you can consider column internals and that is all for now. Thank you.